Hi guys, today I will show you how to create an FTP server using Windows Form application C Sharp. So as you can see here, I already prepared the UI but there is no function yet. So first, uh, we need to uh, read the documentation. So here is the documentation. Then we need to install the Nogget no package, Minet FTP server. So here, uh, I will going to install it in my Visual Studio. Then here, just search the minute that FTP server. Then click the latest version. Then install. Then once the package installed, uh, let's go back to the application. Then just um, put the just just call the uh, minute in our Windows form being it FTP server. Then after that, uh, let's go back here. So we need to call the command. So I will go into copy this. Then just as you can see here, it is outside the method. So I will just go to put it here. Then this one, I uh, don't need this. So I will show you the different way. So here, um, the different way in case if you are going to create an, an FTP server that requiring to edit the, the port and the path, uh, you must know this. Um, so here, just call the setup. Then just um, put the root folder in the port. So here, I will going to use port 2022 then the folder so for example i will go into this piece folder and paste it here then now we can start the program here start easy so it is asynchronous so make sure um you put away then also uh uh I'll just add a status here so that we know if our application is running. Then I will put it here as running. Then save on stop button. Stop. Then let's call again the Command stop easy. Then put away. Then after that, we are all good. So here, uh, I will go into display the list of IP address of our local machine. So it is an optional. So here I already pro the already provided the code. So we will we'll just need to copy this one. And I will put it here in the form of form load. Then let's call the post name Xbox. Append text. Then R N F T P. IP that address that string. So we are using twenty twenty two. So now our application is good. So let's try to run. So now it's is working. So wait, I uh, will show you something more. So if you want to add an password or uh, credentials you should add here a users so user credential then just add here for the username this is the username for example the username is um, Brian then the password is one two three so this is an optional tool 
So I will just go into comment it because I will going to use an anonymous account. Then if you want to um add um certificate for FTPS, just call the load certificate. Then you should provide the raw data or the path of your FTX file certificate. Cert that FTX then also the password so here uh, it's an optional so I will go into the uh, to comment this so that we you know uh, how to use this code so now let's start so here I uh, will going to use F filezilla to test our application if it's working so now I will going to type my IP address 1.6 then 20.22 so now let's connect so as you can see um, it's not connecting since our application is not yet started so now I will going to start the application now it's running then just click again the quick connect so now it's popping the application so as you can see here the folders inside of this one this folder uh, it is showing in our filezilla so now let's try to upload file so here for example i will just going to upload the download this one or yeah, I will upload this. So yeah, it's already uploaded. So here, as you can see here, it's uploaded the file. So for example, I just want to delete that. And as you can see, it's deleted. So I think uh, that's all in our uh, tutorial. And thank you for watching.